Why did you write Lolita? Why did I write Lolita? Why, why did I write any of my books after all? For the sake of the pleasure, for the sake of the, of the difficulty. You see, I have no social purpose, no moral message. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a messenger. I have no general ideas to exploit. I'm not a general. But I like composing riddles. I like uh, finding elegant solutions uh, to, to my riddles, to those riddles that I have composed myself. As a writer, Vladimir Nabokov greatly enjoyed teasing his readers with anagrams, identity games, chess problems, and codes. To date, however, insufficient attention has been paid to his Lolita riddle. In this investigation, I show how the author's elegant solution discloses secret information about his own childhood. Contrary to what many people might think, Nabokov imbued his art with a covert child protection agenda that has yet to be recognized. Vladimir Nabokov was born in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1899. His father and mother were members of the upper-class elite. The family's principal residence was located at the Admiralty end of majestic Nevsky Prospect. During the summer, the family usually holidayed at their country estate, Fira, located to the city's south. As a young boy, Vladimir was surrounded by all the trappings of a thoroughly pampered and privileged childhood. One person who lavished particular attention on Vladimir during his formative years was Uncle Ruka, the brother of his mother, Elena. The Bolshevik Revolution of 1917 brought an abrupt end to the opulent lifestyle of the Russian aristocracy. The family fled to the Crimea and then on to Europe. Vladimir completed an undergraduate degree at Cambridge University, England in the early 1920s before settling in Berlin. Within Russian emigre circles, he quickly gained a reputation as a talented writer. He married Vera Slonim in 1925, and the couple's only child, Dmitri, was born in 1934. The rise of Nazi Germany once again forced Nabokov into exile. Accompanied by his wife and child, he moved to France before finally escaping across the Atlantic on the SS Champlain. Following his arrival in New York, he was employed by various universities as a researcher and lecturer. The move to America consolidated the author's decision to switch from Russian to the English language. Nabokov's famous novel Lolita was first published in a two-volume set by the Olympia Press of Paris in 1955. The novel's main character is a mentally unstable middle-aged pedophile named Humbert Humbert. Humbert marries suburban housewife Charlotte Hayes to gain access to her 12-year-old daughter, Lolita. Throughout his sexual enslavement of Lolita, Humbert constantly fears his shadowy rival, Quilty, otherwise known as Q, will usurp him. Back in the 1950s, the novel's focus on the incestuous abuse of a young girl stirred up enormous moral controversy. Lolita was banned for a short period of time in the UK, Belgium, France and Australia. The heated debate that ensued in the UK Parliament temporarily sidelined the Suez Canal crisis of 1956. The immediate uproar and protests were eventually waylaid, however, by a backlash against censorship. The humorous narrative Nabokov afforded Humbert has since disarmed many readers. From its opening, mesmerizing lines, we remain spellbound by the author's evocative prose. Lolita, light of my life, fire of my loins, my sin, my soul, Lolita, the tip of the tongue taking a trip of three steps down the palate to tap it free on the teeth, Lolita. Despite lingering unanswered questions concerning the author's motivations for writing Lolita, the novel has now sold in excess of 50 million copies worldwide. Lolita firmly established Vladimir Nabokov as a leading author of the 20th century. <laughs>